everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a DIY graduation cap for your car. So if you guys are interested in how to make this, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it, and watch me craft. So these are the supplies that I use that I had on hand. If you guys have anything else that you can use, go ahead and do that. So with my first box, I went ahead and cut off one part of it, about a third of it. As you can see it's just an Amazon box, so it's just the bottom flappy part. And I went ahead and rolled it so you guys can see how it makes the round shape. Now slowly loosen your cardboard box shape so that you get the shape that you want in the size that you want. And then when you're done, stop and we'll move on to the next step. Once you're happy with the size that you want, go ahead and grab some tape and tape your box around. You might want a partner for this one. It would go a lot easier and it'd be a lot faster. Make sure you tape down where the ends of the flaps are so those, that part doesn't stick out. Once you're done taping the two flaps, go ahead and find your second box or use the same first box if you have a very large box. We're going to go ahead and cut this apart to make a square shape for the top of our cap. Now remember we do want a square shape for the top, so go ahead and eyeball it against the round part that you made for your bottom to make sure it fits correctly to make that ceremony cap shape and then go ahead and cut the square out. Here you're gonna see me cutting at different angles the flap for part of the cap here and what we're gonna do is cut some of it off and then we're gonna fold it down to tape against the box. You guys will notice it, well you guys will get it once you start watching the video and seeing how it's being done and why it's getting done. Now that we have everything cut, we're gonna go ahead and flip it around, put that flappy side down, and then grab your pieces of tape. We're gonna tape the cardboard box from the lid to the bottom of the cardboard box for the hat part. This way it helps secure everything, and if you don't have super glue or anything else on hand, this works just fine. Now that you're done taping everything on the inside, make sure you tape everything on the outside, all the way around. And now that we're done taping, it starts to look like a hat, right? Now of course use the colors that you need for your school, but these are the colors that I'm using for my kids' school. So this is the tassel for the top of the cap. So make this whatever length it is that you want to use and make sure you tie it in a knot and pull it tight because we don't want any of that to go through anywhere and lose any part of it or make it any more uneven there are no exact measurements for any of this because again this depends on how large you want to make your cap for your vehicle now that we are done with all of that just grab your paint of choice and a foam paper plate like i have and just squeeze it right on top if you don't have a foam paper plate, you have something else, a painter's palette or anything of the sort, use that. Don't, you don't have to do this. It's just what I use because this is what I had at home. You only really need one foam brush, but if you have kids, you're gonna wanna have more than that. So grab your foam brush. If you don't have a foam brush at home, but you have extra dishwashing sponges, you can use that as well. If you have paint brushes, you can use that as well. If you don't have any paint and you happen to have 
wrapping paper that happens to be a solid color. That also works too. Now the bottom portion of this, we don't need to worry about how much paint is actually on there. We just want to make sure we don't have anything brown showing. So don't worry about how many coats go underneath. So just one coat all around will do the trick and I'm going to move all this into fast forward for you guys. Once you've painted everything around, you want to go ahead and give it a final look and see any spots and go ahead and paint over that to make sure those are solid and not brown or whatever color box you, it is that you have. Now for the top, we're going to go ahead and use the rest of the paint that was on your foam plate or as on my foam plate or whatever it is that you happen to be using. And once all of that paint is gone, it's a whole lot easier to just go ahead and squeeze everything right on top of the box and then start moving the paint around from that. As you can see, my little one decided to come and help me. And it really doesn't matter on your first coat, your second coat, even your however many coats you decide to do, which direction it is that you go in. But you do want to make sure in your final coat that you do move in one direction so we don't have any of the streaks. And you guys will see that as the video moves along. And if you can see what my little one's doing, we are painting the edges. Make sure you get that edge so you don't have any of the brown showing through that as well. See what I'm doing there? Now I was able to get this shot while I was outside, but as you can see, it was a very windy day for us. And so I went ahead and brought this inside to let it sit down and dry for a few hours before I started the rest of this. I didn't realize that inside of the hole in the center right there was a little bit wet. And so a little bit of my tassels did get a little paint on there, but it was okay, no big deal. But I'm gonna show you guys how I put the tassels through so you guys can see what to do. This is a lot easier than what it probably looks like in the video because I am holding it up. But when I had it flat down, it was so much simpler. So don't think this part is tough at all. As you can see, I was using like a pen cap or a pencil cap. Use whatever it is that you have. Use one of those. If you have a crocheting needle, go ahead and use that. That would that probably be easier too. But all we're going to do is stick one tassel in and we're going to push it through the hole. Let me show you guys a better angle here. So there's the tassel. There's my little hole right there. There is my pen cap. Now I'm gonna do is push it right through the hole and I'm gonna show you guys the underside of this as well so you guys will see what I'm doing here. You flip it and you see the tassel with the pen cap and I'm gonna do is pull that right through. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hold the tassel with my thumb or my finger or whatever on the other side. Let me show you guys my finger. And I'm gonna take the pen cap out. And then you can see how it's hanging. I'm going to show you another round of this and then I'm just going to fast forward through the rest of it because really you don't need to see me doing all of it. It's a lot harder when you're doing it sitting up. <laughs> it's a lot easier when you have it sitting down so don't think that's difficult at all. But again, pin through the cap, I mean the tassel with the cap through the hole, hold on to it, hold your second one as well and hold as many as of it as you end up doing through the hole. I only needed to do four to make sure that it doesn't go through the tiny hole that I did make. So don't make your hole very large so that you can make sure that everything stays put on the other side. I'm gonna make individual knots on each tassel just to make sure it doesn't go through.
once you have that done, go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and cut off the rest of the tassels because we don't need it anymore. And voila, it's done. Go ahead and decorate the top of your cap however it is that you would like. My kid didn't want anything else done to it, and so we're just gonna leave it as is. Now we're satisfied with how it looks, and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on top of the car. And here's how it looks on top of the car. i show you guys another angle right here. My daughter's class will be doing a drive-through promotional ceremony, and so we will be driving through slowly, and we're gonna somehow adhere this onto the car, either with suction cups or a string right through it, or even painter's tape underneath it all. That depends on you. Get crafty with this. If you guys like this video and found this very helpful, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you for watching. Watch me cook.